forgotten, coach. Anyways, you know what it is, you know what it is. Back at with the bangers, back at with the bangers. Four times a week or even three times a week. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe because you don't want to miss these bangers. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Hashtag rarities in the comments because you don't want to miss these bangers. You already know. <laughs> you know what it is, you know what it is. Just like that. Just like that, you know what it is. Hello YouTube and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I made my channel banner. Many of you guys requested me to do this video. You know I did a poll on my Instagram so I decided to do a tutorial on how I made my answer. So these are the apps I'm using in the folder. I use Pixar, Airbrush. Also, um, it's not going to look like completely like it because I'm going to be changing um, a couple of things that you see from the um, channel banner. So, basically, I already got all the stuff I've been using, but I'm going to show you what apps I use to get certain stuff. So, this right here, um, you're going to just, you, uh, okay, you're going to get this from this. You're going to type in Chana Banner on Google, whatever your browser is, and then just click download. And now, the size, you have to put it as, you have to go back, and the size you're going to put it as is... You're going to use a white background and then go to tools and then hit crop. And you're going to do 16 by 9 and then cut it to 25 by 60. That's the um, minimum, you know, channel bear size if you don't know that. So basically, you're going to add the channel bear template and you're going to put this tab to a side. And then I'm going to show you guys how I get the other things. So let just zoom this in right here you see and then hit the check mark and then now we're gonna go into how I got my um all the things well basically the um images I use for the um intro and the overlays so I basically get this app it's called we hearted it'll probably be in the description so basically this is my we hearted account so I'll go to collections what you want to search for is is like overlays or like edit overlays so I'm gonna hit my um profile because basically I did this Th this is how I did it so you know you're gonna go into the following well the quicker way I should actually do is type in my username and then go to following if you don't feel like searching for these um collections so basically they call it collections so this is where I got my resources from so you disclaimer you can pay any collection that you want to put on your overlay you know see like I use this cloud right here and I use that one right there the little video thing and then this one but for this one I'm gonna be doing something different but it's still gonna be the same constant so there's ads in this um app so if you want to get the mod apk I probably will try to find it for both iOS and Android because you know I know I'm all, I know my ways. I just feel like I don't know why. I just feel like I feel comfortable recording on this phone because I don't know. I'm just I don't know. I'm used to it. You know what I mean? But I can't record on my other one, my other phone. But I just don't feel like it. Sometimes I don't. I use it for recording. I don't really. You know what I mean? Because yeah, I feel more comfortable with this phone. So basically. You know, there's more overlays that you can pick. There's any overlay that you can pick. Disclaimer. See, you can see, you can use these for your channel banner. Now, if you know, if you want the way I did it, the same stuff I use. I'm gonna this one right here and this one, and it, and it came from this girl right here. And then you're gonna scroll down, and then I pick this one also, and I pick this. And then I'm gonna show you the fonts I use. So you gonna once you find the image that you like for your channel, you're gonna hit download, and then it's gonna say it's gonna show you add, and then hit exit, and then it's gonna say download an image, and it may say we hard it on the um thing, but you can click ads, and then you go you know it'll remove the um you know the wa the watermark on it, man. Okay, um Chrome or whatever browser you on. And then you're gonna hit you're gonna type in this website right here. You're gonna type in this website right here. This is where I got the font from. So I'm gonna test it out right now. I'm gonna do I'm gonna generate a different font, but I may use the same font that I use. But I'm showing you guys this is the website right here. It'll probably be in my description and all that stuff. 
It's called font meme and then type in ransom font. It's like kind of those graphic fonts and stuff. So I'm gonna type in my username, Trinity Rarity, and then um font size. You know, I'm gonna do teal because you know I haven't did a tutorial in a while, so I'm a little little, you know, just just keep on following along. So you see how there's a lot of like you know fonts like color fonts to use. I used the birthday one and I used um the one down here one of them i use this one the name tag blue you want to use that if you want to do the same way i did or i i use the mario font so it's gonna you click generate here bash that's you to put it in black so it won't look like this you see right here unless you like it away whatever color you pick for the ransom font so you basically type in anything you want for the ransom font or you can change it up it don't have to be the ransom font it could be a different font like this. You see how many fonts there are. Like, it looks really cool in my opinion. So I'm going to go with this one particular one. Because I already have something like this. And I'm probably going to use the same one. So this is a different font. And then you know I'm going to put it in black or white. I should ask you to put it black or white. But any way you like. You know. See this is what it looks like. So I'm going to just download this one. You know. And then the white version. I may use this. But I already have one. I'm just showing you guys where I got this font from and now you know I'm gonna click it white and then now the next one I'm gonna pick um you don't have to do this unless you want to I'm gonna click kidnap note and then I'm gonna click um name tag red or blue but I'm gonna pick blue and then I'm probably gonna do something with the um channel banner so it's gonna look like this so you want to change the color into black and then you want to generate it see so and then you can, by the way, you can pick any font. This is what it looks like for the kidnap font. I just asked you to pick ransom, to be honest, because it looks, you know, better in my opinion. You see? Like, it looks way better. So I just asked you to do ransom or any font you like, in my opinion. But, you know, I'm going to show you the other font I use also. So this is for the signature font. You know, if you want it, like, you know, cute, you know, it's, it's called this right here it's called signature font and you can just click download and then it'll look like this it'll look clearly cleaner and more better looking you know what i mean and there's tons of fonts you can pick you know this one so i'm gonna pick this as a you know this one i'm just showing an example right here you know because this is uh, this is what i use now this looks cute right here now if you want to use this font it's up to you it's up to you but i'm gonna I'm probably gonna use that so I'm gonna download it and then yeah so once we got the fonts and all the stuff and we got the overlays you gonna go into you're gonna go into Fonto now you want a transparent image so you're gonna go back and you're gonna save your channel banner size so I'm just gonna hit save since in the right size is by 25 by 60 I don't feel like doing it over again so just hit save now you want to hit plus sign and then you want to scroll down and click transparent now you want it to be in transparent mode so I'm just clearing my notifications because it's a little junky so just hit the forward button and then hit save I hope this is a uh, more easier what I'm telling you guys, I hope it is because I did use some of Fonto for Instagram and stuff. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do Instagram and all that stuff together. So, just type in your name for your Instagram, and then these are all my fonts. I got some from DF Font. You can screenshot the fonts I'm using, and you can type it in DF Font because I got most of my fonts from DF Font. This is the font I mostly use, it's called um, Big Noodle T Tilting Op <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay. So you're going to hit style and then, you know, you can do it any way you like, by the way. So I'm just doing it like this. And then now if you want a logo with it, you have to go back into trans <laughs> Pixar and you're going to hit sticker. If you want to have the logo already on there and you just want to place it on there, you're going to type it Instagram because I usually do this anyway. And it already has an Instagram logo and I can place it on my channel banner. It's much easier. So I usually pick this one with the crown. You know, you could pick any Instagram logo you like. And then, you know, I usually add the shadow. Just add an extra step. Because the shadow makes it look better. And a white border too. Like the white border, like brings it all together. You know what I'm saying? You see? 
Like, that brings it all together. Now, you want to make it smaller because you don't want to make it look E, you know what I mean? Because you're going to be editing this in Fonto, so um, you're going to hit the check mark. Now, if you want Snapchat all together, you can add it on there. You can type in Snapchat and then hit white border and then shadow. So, I already have this one, so I'm not going to save it, but you can save it if you want to. And then go on to Fonto, add your font with the transparent background with your logo. If you want the logo already on there, and then hit done, save, and then go back to your channel better. Now, I'm going to save the draft. Um, don't do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I hit, I'm going to hit this one. So, this is the channel better side. And then, I'm going to show you guys how I did the cutouts and all that stuff. So, I'm doing this from memory. Now, you may want a background for your channel better. So, I'm going to show you it right now. So, I'm going to go back to We Heart It. So, I'm going to show you what like overlay i use i basically type in black but you can but i suggest you to pick like patterns or textures go in this folder right here and there's like a tons of like cute you know patterns textures for your channel parents to make it look popping but for this one particular one i'm gonna use this one or i don't know yet i don't know i'm deciding or this one actually no uh, this one spot my eye though this one spot my eye for some reason but you can pick any chain banner um background you like but i may use this one to make it pop in for the thumbnail i may do that one the red one but you can choose any one that you like but i did um i did make it into black and this one looks like the one i picked well not really not really but you know, if you want the one I picked, I'm going to show you it in a second. Just type in black. And then go to collections. And then it's all black wallpapers and stuff. And then that's basically it for We Heart It. Just type in black wallpapers or wallpapers. You know, or. And then it'll be right here. Not this, but this type of wallpaper is not, you know, why I just search up. So we're going to go back to Pixar because I mostly use Pixar for the rest of the parts because I already got my fonts and the overlays I'm going to be using. So we're going to go back. So this is what it looks like. So you want to add a photo and you want to add a background for the thing. So I may scroll down. So these are the ones I use for my um, channel banner, as you can see right here, the um, starting night one. So if you want to use the same one I use, I suggest you to screenshot it right now. So three, two, one. Okay, did you get it? If you want this particular one, because I, or you can type a starry night black background. That this one may show up. I don't know, but if you want this particular one, just. You know, take a screenshot of it right now. Okay. So, I'm not going to be using that one. I'm, I want to make this one different. So, I'm going to be using this one. Just for dramatic effect. And then now, I'm going to show you guys how I made it perfection. Without really no mistakes in it. It was like pre very precise. So, I basically did like this. Right here. So, I basically duplicate it. And then I slide it right here. And then... You know, I made it like this. And then now you're going to do it like this again. And you want to move it down. So it kind of, it's like, you know, see how it's kind of blending in a little bit. But you're going to go back and blend it in the way, the best you can. But I suggest you to just put it like this. And then, you know, I'm going to leave it at least like right here. And then, so, and then I'm going to stretch it out. So I'm going to put it like this. Do something like that. Because this is how I do my chan banners. And later on it will blend in. But for right now it looks like this. So I'm going to basically stroll it up. So I suggest you to put it like this. How the way I do it. And then you're going to duplicate it. And then you want to make this like kind of stretch out. Where you know where your um safe area is. See? You can kind of tell where your safe area is. That's how I do my channel manners. Except for this gray part right here. I made it blend in. And then I move it down some. I can make it. You see? Mm-hmm. This is the safe area. And then, you know, I'm going to submit it. So this is what I'm going to do. I submitted it. So it won't be as laggy. And then see? Now I'm going to go back. And 
Um, because I know where my safe area is, so I'm gonna go back and add the same image again. I should ask you to do that so it will blend in. So it won't look like this because this is a little, you know, a little, little ratchet. <laughs> little, little ratchet. <laughs> little not looking good, you know what I mean? So, um, and then put it right back as this. You see how it's kind of blending in, but don't make that barrier to you because you see there's a line where I marked it. Now you see. Now, sometimes I do add a white, um, black, and border around the um, safe area, but you know, I'm gonna do that later. So right now, we're about to hop into it. So I'm gonna put my brightness, and then now, we're gonna add the overlays. So if you want to add your cutout first, I'm gonna go into sticker, and then, you know, well, actually, if you don't have a cutout from Pixar, your previous cutouts, I basically use um, an image, and then, you know, you press the image, and you click add onto your channel banner, or you can go, or you can use a bubbles art. You can use that app. I may show you guys how to get perfection on there. That's the second object you can use. So I usually hit person so it can get it itself. And now, you know, I fix it a little bit. But this is just an example. I'm not using this image for this video. I have my viewers cut up, so I'm going to be using. So if it looks perfect, I may use it. Um, so, you know, you got to race um, any access that's on you that doesn't you know match with it you know make sure it looks good because you don't want to make it look whack because sometimes you can tell it's a little whack with the um cut out see it's a little blurry around my cheeks so you kind of want it you know good so just you know tweak in the areas and then hit erase right here you see now, Bowser can do it better. Now, if you already got your cutout and you already erased it all, just hit save and it will be on there. And then add the border and shadow and, you know, that, and then place it around here. So, I'm going to show you the quick way to do it. You know, why not within a video? So, basically, this is the second way to do it. You choose photo. And then, um... Pick any photo that you want to do. So I'm going to basically use the same photo. Because you can get Bubba's Art on any app. You know, any Google Play or iPhone store. A Apple store and stuff. So hit Magic. And then it will it'll look like this. You see how it looks way better than... Um, and then once you go into Pixar, you can edit it. Like you see how it's a little... Little access right there. You can go into Pixar and you can edit it. And then this one looks perfect to me. So I'm not gonna be using that for that video because you know I'm trying to make it quick because I got another video to do. So I'm gonna go into sticker and then once you already have your cutout, you're gonna hit cutouts and then you know I'm gonna use this cutout and then put it right here. Now, first stop, I'm going to add all my overlays before I, you know, add my cutouts. Because I already added one of my um, cutouts. So, I'm going to do the ones I did from my channel banner. So, it says you reach your image limit. So, don't mind that. Because you can easily, like, just do your cutouts first. You see? Now, I'm going to make these small. I'm probably going to do these one by one, so that's what I'm going to do in a second. So just bear with me. So I'm going to probably do that off camera. Now, I did one of the overlays off camera, so I'm basically going to show you. You notice how it says the We Heart logo. So you want to, like, cut that out. You're going to hit crop, and then you see how it disappeared. It's gone. So basically, I use these. You're going to type in, like, um, outline, um, you know, We Heart It. Cause I didn't show you guys how I got these ones, but you just basically type in an outline or it's in um, overlays in that collection I got. So I basically use this for my channel banner and then, you know, I basically duplicate it to make it look cool. Cause you know, and now I'm going to show you how I did the free times thing. So I basically like make sure it's connected. Cause if you want to like, you want like the channel banner like how I made it like mine, just you know keep on following. But if you want to make it a little slightly different but the same format, you know you can do what you want. But you know, 
if you want this one right here just follow along okay so basically you're gonna do this and you're gonna curve it and then you, you want to kind of like blend it in and connect it kind of you see you see how it's kind of forming along and then you know i'm gonna add this one to it And by the way, this is going to look different from my um, chamber I have right now. But, you know, it's still the same format. But it's going to look different because I'm doing a little couple things different. You know, to make it easy for you guys, that's what I'm doing. Because the other one's like, you know, it took like two hours. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to make a quicker way to do this one. So you just kind of want to connect this. So I'm going to basically erase this little part right here. Because, you know, I don't like that. Because I kind of want to make it, like, connected. You know, it's just train along. Because you don't want to stretch it. Now, it won't let me duplicate it again. So you're going to hit save. Because you already reached your limit. So you're going to hit save. So it may take a couple seconds. And you're going to add a photo again. And you're going to add the same stuff. So I'm going to hit crop and then hit um, blend and hit screen and then connect it. Make sure it looks connected and you kind of want to like flip this because, you know, I don't really like this part. So in my opinion, I think you should flip it and then make sure it's connected. So I'm, pretty, I'm probably going to call this title like a graphic Shannon banner, how to make it. You know, like a fist date, um newspaper channel banner. Because this is kind of like newspaper. The font's newspaper and it's rut show. So I'm probably going to say that. But if, um, title and then thumbnail, I don't know. I don't know yet. So uh, it may be the end result. Well, yeah, of course. So you're going to make sure these are connected. So I'm going to erase a little bit of it. The access. And then, you know, duplicate it again. And then you want to, like, flip it back again. So it's kind of like a little bump. See? And then you want to make, make sure it's a little bit stretched. And then, you know, you kind of want to make it like this. And then, you know, I'm going to raise the access on here a little bit. That's basically how I did the little borderline and then I'm gonna do another one so I'm gonna add another overlay so I'm gonna add this one to it so just hit screen because you basically get this from we hard it and this that's basically what I did so I'm gonna duplicate it and then Make sure it looks nice. So you're going to duplicate it again. So basically you add images of yourself on these. That's what I did. So I kind of want to make it curve. And then, you know, I may add a shadow to it. So I'm going to add a photo again. And I'm going to add the clouds. And then I'm going to hit blend. So these clouds add like more, like basically it makes it look more popping in my opinion. So I'm going to crop it because there's a little white axis right here. So I don't really like that. So I'm going to crop it a little bit and then, you know, do it like this. See, because I didn't, I'm doing something different from my actual channel bear. So I'm going to keep it up and then I'm going to make sure these are blending in. Duplicate, <laughs> duplicate it again. Oh my gosh. Okay. So you am going to curve it. You see? And then now, you see how it's kind of like this right here? It will eventually blend in. Don't mind that. But you kind of want to like stretch it a little bit. So it kind of won't look like that. But you see how it says we harder on the bottom. So you want to clock that out. And now it's gone. Because, you know, last time I had We Harder everywhere on my channel banner. And then, you know, I literally had to previously edit it. So, I'm trying to zoom out, but it's not letting me. Okay. I have to put this back. So, I'm probably going to save this right now. So, make sure these are connected. And then, I'm about to... Okay, I don't need to crop that one. 
I'm just gonna basically crop these and then I'm gonna like call out the camera and then um show you the previous part. I mean the other part. So I'm about to save this and then quick cut it off and do some some stuff behind camera. 